Hello, this is a quick tutorial to test whether if your limit switch probes are working correctly. Those probes are these little guys right here. There's three of them on the machine. They have this little yellow part on them. So there's one here for the Y rail. There's one here for the X rail. And then there's one up here for the Z rail. So we need to get inside of the electronic box in order to test the switches to see if they're working. So we have to do, undo these four screws. They're just a little Phillips head with a screwdriver. And you can use a power tool if you're very gentle. Uh, this is plastic with uh, screws, so we don't want to strip the plastic. When you are unscrewing this box, make sure that it is powered off. You, we don't want to be opening and closing this box when it is powered on. So please be careful when this box is open. There are exposed metal contacts here. Do not touch these contacts. We're now going to power on the printer and you'll be able to see all the indicator lights that are on the inside of the box. So. I'm going to touch a piece of metal to the metal sensing probe switch and I'd like you to have your attention on the box and see there is a green light flashing in the box. So I'm going to do it for the X as well. Now I'll do it for the Z. So Z should be near the top. So Z, Y, and X. And I'll get a close up of the box. So I'm going to touch this metal screwdriver just to the end of the little yellow probe switch. So Z, so on, 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 Y, 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 X, X, X. And that is a good test of these probe switches. If one of these lights is solid on no matter what, make sure that the car of the machine is not against the switch. Uh, if it isn't, if the rail is in the middle here and the light is solid on or it's not able to be turned on when you touch a piece of metal to the end of the probe switch, which is done just by doing this. Then that means the probe switch is faulty and not working correctly. And we recommend you to please contact our tech support department to get a replacement switch.